Hey, good afternoon. How are all of my Capricorn soul family members out there doing? I hope you're all doing amazing. My name is Morty, and I'm very excited to do Capricorn's reading for them today. Uh, this reading will be for the sign of Capricorn, uh, April 15th, taking us through the end of uh, the rest of this month, so the last two weeks of this month. We just want to see what's happening, what energies, what prominent energies are lying ahead for Capricorn in the second half of April. See if we can better equip you on how to step into that time and be able to attract those higher vibrating frequencies and better prepared on how to avoid the limiting lower vibrating frequencies. I mean, honestly, that's as a tarot reader, that's kind of what I'm doing. The way I look at life, the way I see things is we're all creators, right? So we're creators of our own universe. So as long as we're creators, why would we not try to create the best possible outcome for ourselves? So as a reader, when I'm doing the reads, I recognize the limiting energies, the negative energies. You have to. They're there. It's part of our truth, right? So we recognize them, but we don't stay stuck in them, or at least I don't. I'm looking for ways to, to learn how to move away from those limiting energies. Why? To raise our vibration and to increase the love and the abundance that we're able to experience in our life. So that's my goal, Capricorn, for you and your read today. Capricorn is a beautiful zodiac sign, right? Your sun sign may be found in Capricorn, or perhaps your moon or rising is in Capricorn, where you just could be checking up on a Capricorn, or maybe you're just intuitively guided to be here and listen to this read. I'm seeing more and more of that, and I love that. Um, yeah, Capricorn. I mean, honestly, it's a, it's a zodiac sign that I admire. For example, and I've said this before, right? If I were to put on a, a like a big function where I, I needed a lot of people to show up and I needed like everything, you know, all 12 cylinders just operating full steam ahead in order to, for it to be a successful party, I would hope that I had a Capricorn friend to rely on to help me put it together, right? Because you guys are so diligent and determined. You're a very determined zodiac sign. So, and I say that as a compliment. You guys represent stability and balance and wisdom. You guys are the kind of the goats of the zodiacs. You're sensitive, sensible, and secure in your environment. Faithful and very determined, like I mentioned. You can be awkward and a little bit detached at times. Uh, stubborn, maybe coming across a little bit self-centered. Anyways, those are just some of the the uh, promoting qualities and some of the limiting qualities that kind of typically follow Capricorn. I'm not Capricorn, but I can identify with many of those myself. All right. So I was going to let you guys know um, the date is April 11th. The time is 3.21 p.m. 3.21. Hmm. Interesting. Um, the background music that I'm playing throughout your read, Capricorn, is opening your heart chakra. It's the love frequency some good soothing vibes I thought it would be appropriate so without further ado let's get started on your read so keep in mind this will be a general read for the collective of Capricorn it won't be for every Capricorn but it will be for some um, Okay, Capricorn, beautiful affirmation for you, taking you into your tarot reading. Abundance, the number two, representing duality, partnership. Goddess of abundance divine, let me thrive, let fortune be mine. Goddess of abundance divine, let me thrive, let fortune be mine. Goddess of abundance divine, let me thrive, let fortune be mine. Yeah, so this color in this card is just popping out at me right now. Um, yeah, I'm just, I'm, it's, it feels a little bit magical, actually. Don't know why I'm feeling that energy, but I am. Uh, Capricorn, you're probably stepping into a very abundant time in your life, right? And this may be well-deserved, well-earned. Uh, I kind of have a feeling that for many of you it is. 
Uh, so congratulations. This is a great, great thing and a great energy to begin taking us into your tarot reading. So I pre-shuffled my decks, but I like to shuffle them one more time. And then I like to split the deck three times. Because I want to see what the opening energy is taking Capricorn into your tarot reading today. Okay, Capricorn, beautiful energy. He drew the energy of the Empress. Fantastic energy. The Empress is the mother of all things earthly. She represents unconditional love nourishment to everybody around her it's a balanced energy with one foot in the water one foot on dry land she's surrounded by butterflies representing rebirth right so I'm feeling a lot of um, there's some newness right so there's some new beginnings I think for some of you Capricorn out there um, yeah I'm definitely feeling that being pulled into it with these butterflies I mean, the important thing to note with this particular energy is, you know, the Empress loves everybody outside of her unconditionally. How is she able to do that? Well, as we all know, we can only give to others what we have within ourselves, right? Within ourselves. So in order for her to share unconditional love and offer that to everybody around her, she first of all had to learn how to recognize it and fill it within herself. That's kind of the important message, I think. Yeah, so I feel like for many of you Capricorns, right, you're recognizing that. You're recognizing your value, your inner beauty. Good for you. Okay. Now we have the Knight of Wands. Knight of Wands represents fire sign energy, so... Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Like all night energies, this is an energy you can count on showing up. If you look at just look at the horse, you can see how this energy shows up, right? He shows up very anxious, very excited about things. Uh, it's very passionate about whatever it is, uh, whatever it is this represents to you in your life, Capricorn. Uh, you're very passionate about it. You're very excited. Some of you have an air sign or a fire sign coming into your life. Others, I think this is an energy within you. Um, you're excited about things, right? Because maybe you feel, you can sense some of this abundance, right? On the cusp, just ahead of you. And it's getting you pretty excited. Important thing about this particular energy. I mean, it can sweep both men and women off their feet. It's, it's very contagious. It has this magnetic charm to them. However, this can be a fickle energy. And by fickle, I mean many times, once this energy has what it thinks it wants, realizes it doesn't want it anymore right so just points that out so you can be aware of that okay Capricorn <clears throat> we now have the five of cups Five of Cups is limiting energy. It represents the energy of how we're looking at life. Is the glass half full or is the glass half empty? This card right here says that for Capricorn, it's showing that the glass may appear as being half empty. Uh, figure in the card is focused on these three cups. They're tipped over, they're spilled. Spilled cups represent disappointments, maybe heartbreak, loss. Sadness, grief, on the surface, that's what it meant. But that passed. And then came the growth, right? Came the possibly a fierce sense of independence. Of maybe this is, in fact, to be honest with you, I feel like it was these three spilled cups that helped you, Capricorn, to recognize your value, to recognize your worth. It's what brought you the energy of the Empress? So for many of you, I think you've already changed. You've already recognized the growth that came from these three spilled cups, whatever they represent to you in your life.
Okay, Capricorn, at the center of your tarot reading, very important, you have the Temperance card, which is the card of Sagittarius. So some of you could be in a relationship with a Sagittarius or have a pretty significant relationship in your life with a Sagittarius. It's a balanced energy with one foot in the water, one foot on dry land. Water represents emotions and feelings. Dry land represents our presence here on Earth. So it can represent the balance of the masculine and the feminine. Celebrated by butterflies. Hmm. Yeah, seeing all kinds of butterflies in your reading, Capricorn. But this is a magical card. This is letting you know, Capricorn, that the universe has a vested interest in you and your experiences. It's paying attention. All right, there are energies that are outside of us, us that are connected to us, unseen energies. Everything happening in universal timing for you, Capricorn. She pours a chalice of water into a chalice of fire. It should just put it out, but it doesn't. It creates this beautiful rainbow instead, right? Why? Because it's so magically, divinely timed. here <clears throat> we now have the two of pentacles two of pentacles represents the energy of maintaining balance right? so for many of you you could be balancing things in your life right now right? possibly balancing work family career love right? she's doing a pretty good job balancing it's like she's almost showing off the way she's holding these pentacles on the ends of her arms, kind of like saying, look at me, look at me balance, and I balance so beautifully. Okay, coming in next to the two of pentacles, we have the four of swords. Four of swords represents the energy of rest and recuperation. So Capricorn is pointing out the importance of you too, right? And it's coming in next to balance. So some of you could be feeling a little bit out of, out of balance as it pertains to the kind of rest that you're getting in life, right? You're really being encouraged to make to take note of this. Um, I'm feeling this kind of strong right now. It's very important for you, Capricorn, right? To make sure that you're getting the, the kind of adequate rest that your mind, body, and spirit need. Yeah, I'm feeling it strong. Okay, coming in under the Knight of Wands. We have the Nine of Pentacles. This is a good card, good energy. This represents the energy of independence. Um, it's a very independent energy. This is uh, independently providing for yourself comfortably, possibly yourself and others. It's being comfortable in your skin. It's knowing, recognizing your value. She's created all of this abundance that surrounds her, the wildlife she's tamed. I mean, she's proud of it. So be proud of it, Capricorn. This is your energy, it's your card. Okay, coming in under the Five of Cups, we have the Eight of Cups. Eight of Cups represents the energy of walking away from something. So you could be walking away from a person, place, or thing in life. Uh, it's coming in under the Five of Cups. So yeah, you could definitely be walking away from a person, place, or thing in life. Possibly something that had something to do with these three spilled cups for some of you. <clears throat> She's walking out of the water. Water represents a lot of emotions and feelings. And I kind of get the feeling that whatever, she, whatever you're walking away from, for some of you, is very difficult. She's reaching up to grab the tree to kind of pull herself out of the water. What's she walking towards? She's walking towards the full moon. She's walking towards these beautiful colors. I think initially there's healing down here, right? And then comes some excitement and some passion. OK, 
Okay, coming in at the center of your reading and under the Temperance card, we have the Seven of Swords. The Seven of Swords is a good energy. It represents the energy of whatever whatever feels like it's an uphill battle for you, Capricorn. This ongoing resistance that, that you're it's like you're hitting a wall every time. You know, so you're trying to you you're trying to you're trying to, to obtain some different results with something in your life and it's just giving you the same kind of results over and over again. Uh, the figure in the card, he's bending down to pick up these two swords. In the meantime, his other five swords are flying above his head. He's being taunted with them. Right? So it could rec represent uh, you're not quite as prepared as you thought you were for whatever this represents. But whatever it is, whatever feels like it's an uphill battle, just ongoing resistance to you, Capricorn. You're being encouraged to disengage, to step away from it. it serves you best. Doesn't matter who won or who lost or what the score was. It's a pretty important energy for you, Capricorn, because it's coming in at the center of your reading and it's coming in under divine timing. So yeah, so what I'm feeling is that for many of you, whatever this resistance is, it, it, it's almost good that you've experienced it and had it in your life because I'm feeling like Capricorn, there are lessons that, that, that you have been able to pull from and grow from because of this resistance, whatever it represents to you in your life. Um, it's all been part of your, part of your journey. But at this particular time, you're being encouraged to now step away from it, right? To disengage. Because I think what it means is that you've learned everything that is meant for you to learn from whatever this resistance represents. We now have the Six of Swords. It's walking away, right? The figure in the card has chosen to lie down her swords and to walk the other direction. So she's walking from one thing and she's walking towards something different. She's walking towards the birds. She's walking towards the clouds opening up and light beginning to pierce through. So possibly brighter days, happier days. I said happier days and it made me think of happy days, right? The old, the old uh, sitcom, the television show. Yeah, with the Vons and Ernie or Arnie, something like that. <laughs> But I am feeling that for Capricorn. You are walking towards happier days, better times. Okay, so coming in under the Four of Swords, we have the Ace of Cups. Beautiful card, beautiful energy. This represents aces are beginnings, right? So this is Cups represent emotions, feelings, and love, right? So this is the beginning, Capricorn, of something that you really love a lot. For some of you, it could be a romantic relationship. It doesn't have to be. It could be a friendship. It could be a career change, a new job. Um, yeah, something that you love, that you're passionate about. No doubt about that. Okay, Capricorn, energy taking us out of your tarot read today is the Hanged Man. Hanged Man represents, it's kind of a card of sacrifice in many ways. The figure in the card, he hangs by a tree, right, from his ankles. He wears a blindfold. There's been a decision that he could have made quite some time ago, right? So when I say he, I'm talking to you, Capricorn, so he or she. A decision that could have been made quite a while back, but for whatever reason, you've chosen to not make this decision. You've had your reasons, but you're stepping into a time in your life where you're getting ready to make this decision for yourself. 
I kind of feel like this is an important decision for you. Okay, Capricorn, I have your tarot read done now. I need to take a few moments. I need to look at the cards and see where they are in terms of relationship with each other. I need to see and feel what it is they're trying to share with me, and then I can share your whole read with you. So hang on just a few moments. You can listen to the soothing sounds of the background music, or you can fast forward either way. I recommend just parking it. Listen, just take in the soothing sounds. Yeah, so Capricorn, um, do you have a great read here? And what I'm feeling for many of you is that many of you are you're stepping into a time in your life where where you're feeling your power, you're getting your power back. Um, because I think for many of you, right, you've been working hard, doing a lot of the internal work, um, and, you've, you've, and it's caused you to recognize your value, to recognize your worth, right? And with you're recognizing that value and that worth that can only increase the sense of self-love that you feel for yourself, Capricorn, which is a beautiful thing. Because just like the Empress, right, before we can ever, before she can ever give unconditional love to anybody outside of herself, she has to feel it for herself first. That's the energy taking you into your tarot reading. I think for many of you, you recognize it, right? I think you're excited about it. You're you're passionate about having this, right? Feeling these new energies in your life, right? Giving you this Knight of Wands kind of energy that just makes you want to go out and embrace it and grab it and create. Recognizing your sense of independence, right? Your ability and faith and confidence in yourself to be able to do it. This is confidence for you, Capricorn. Inner confidence and strength. So we look at the journey that you've been on, right? That got you here. It's been painful. It's had some upsets and some disappointments in it. We have to recognize them, right? But we don't have to stay stuck in this energy. Again, we can't control anything outside of ourselves. But the one thing that we can control is what takes place within us, right? So Capricorn, you're being encouraged to pay attention to your energy, right? To recognize the growth that came from these five, three spilled cups, not the pain. It's giving you the opportunity to be able to walk away from something in your life that's no longer serving you. Person, place, or thing, or possibly walking away from a certain way of being. Maybe you're walking away from an old way of looking at what these three spilled cups represented to you. I think that's true for a lot of you. Yeah, I mean, Capricorn, you've got like three cards right next to each other. You have the Eight of Cups, the Seven of Swords, and the Six of Swords. All three of those cards kind of represent the energy of, of, of leaving something in the past as past and moving forward. Um, and it's all been part of your journey because whatever, whatever this represents that you're walking away from, Capricorn, has been a pretty big thing for you in your life, but it's been part of your growth. Um, but it's just to the point, it's no longer serving you anymore. You're being encouraged to disengage everything happening in divine timing for you, Capricorn. The universe cares. So Capricorn, right? Getting yourself balanced and giving yourself the strength to be able to turn and walk away from something 
And in many cases, it's walking away from this old, walking into the new that brings a better sense of balance to you in your life. Right? And balance is a beautiful thing. That's what Capricorn, it takes you to a time of rest and recuperation. Rest and recuperate, mind, body, and spirit, before you start this new beginning. It's a new beginning that you love. For many of you, it could be a romantic relationship. It could be a friendship. Uh, it's a new beginning that you love, though, that you're excited about. I can feel that. Capricorn, we have the hangman as the energy taking you out of your tarot read, right? So for many of you, it's, this, is, uh, this is your time right now. Your time to make your choices. Uh, to be able to step away from some of those energies in life that no longer serve you. Step into new change, new growth, and opportunities and energies that do serve you. It's a beautiful time for you. Okay, Capricorn, I think I'm done with your tarot read. You had a beautiful read, by the way. Um, thank you very much for giving me the opportunity to share it with you. I hope it resonates with all of you. Um, I think there's some, some good insight, some good messages here. Thank you very much for all the comments, likes, subscribes, and shares. For all the support that you provide me here at Love and Abundance Tarot. Yeah, I'm just, I'm very grateful for it, right? It gives me permagrin. So, yeah, I can't thank you guys enough. Thank you for the beautiful donations that many of you have made towards the channel, right? This is what I do, so this is how I live. Uh, so your donations make an amazing difference for me. So thank you so much. Uh, this is a general read for the collective. I do do personal reads. If you're interested in getting a personal read, just shoot me an email at tarotloveandabundance at gmail. It's in the description below. But I charge $40. I send you a private or personal link to um, a 30-minute read that's specifically for you. So anyways, if you haven't done one, I recommend it. Whether it's with me or another tarot reader, right? They're fun. All right, Capricorn, wishing you the very best through the rest of this month. Thanks.